Welcome back to the finals, world famous virtual game show. Pull up your boots and get ready for a dust up in Old West Monaco. All you gunslingers and outlaws can look the part by cashing in contracts for free rewards. Throw your hat in the ring in a single round tournament. If it's your first rodeo or you're an old timer like me, we're challenging. Oh, I hope we got that skin off the maps there. You to a duel. Pistols at dawn. Show us your metal, cowpokes. I like it. So today we're going to be checking out the patch notes that have just been released today by Embark for the finals, the 1.10. I was going to say 1.10 for some reason. Um, yeah, so we're going to run through the patch notes together. Um, I think it's more on the cosmetic side of things and, and a bit of a tweak of the maps and stuff. But let's let's run into it. Um, so, mosey into Old West Monaco with a limited loadout and duke it out like the gunslingers and outlaws of the old silver screen. Is Monaco an arena large enough for all of you? Only one way to find out. We're bringing back a fan favorite from the early days of beta, single round tournament. In the game mode, four teams enter the arena at once and compete against each other in a single round. Add to this the brand new look of Monaco and the limited loadouts and it's sure to be a show for the sponsors. Okay, cash in all the contracts to earn the high noon noir outfit and don't miss the opportunity to collect the chamber chum twitch drop. Okay, so that means there's going to be a twitch drop in there mm, for those of you who do want to spend some money on Twitch. Other than that, um, quite interesting to see what the mode is like. We're going to go check it out right after. So so don't leave. Um, we're going to see that together. There is also, that's kind of interesting. So alongside update 1.10, we're running our first collaborative community event. We're challenging all of you to collectively cash out 250 billion in one week. And if you do it, you're all getting a reward. That's interesting. Uh, I checked out the the Discord official. There's nothing there regarding the shirts yet, so I guess we'll see a bit later. It might be a bit late. Now, let's get into the patch note themselves. So, regarding the gameplay, so they fixed an issue with the play button where it wasn't available at unintended times. Uh, I'm not really sure. I, I mean, I've never faced that problem, but I guess... Thanks. Uh, lower the time for when you can cancel an emote to 1.5 seconds from 3 seconds. Okay, that's good. Because uh, actually we mentioned that in a, in a stream earlier this week where like you can never use your emotes because you're stuck with them. And I don't think there's many situations where you have 3 seconds of free time in the finals. Um, fix for an issue with the tournament screen which caused it to get interrupted if, you're el if you were eliminated just before the transition happened. Okay, fix the bug with the camera could appear offset in the end of round screens. I think that's the new UI thing um, in the tournament rank mode which we were mentioning also earlier. So good. Uh, UI, fix the mouse cursor disappearing when using the systems menu while in gameplay. Squad members off-screen indicator will now list name and health instead of a blue dot. You can now equip items directly from the stores and equipment page. Fix one of the issues that lead to multiple skins being equipped to the same gun. I would have been very curious to get that happen, to be honest. But it does seem to be linked with error codes, so... If the game crashes because of that, I guess that's a pain, so good. And then maps update to the collision of the ground mesh on Monaco. Animation fixed more cases where the character deformation would look wrong in squad lineups such as inward knees, yeah, that's probably not good. Improved character mesh deformation, okay. Security, general security updates, okay, we're always good. Video of various shadow quality improvements, especially on lower quality settings, okay. Performance, optimized system memory usage of the game, fixed a number of console specific crashes, especially on Xbox Series S models, and various improvements to the performance of the game across the board. I wish they had detailed that a little more, but I guess that's good news. And then known issue, the antivirus problem program CrowdStrike prevents player from being able to launch the finals. If you're running into trouble launching the game, please check if you have the software installed okay the glint tint weapon skin is partially broken resulting in a darker look than normal we aim to solve this by the next update the smoking gun splash screen shows an incorrect end date and time it reads 28th of february but the in the event ends on the 7th of march good to know we would have 
wondered what's up with that. And then Las Vegas had issues with players being able to spawn under the sand, so we have disabled the Sandstorm version of Las Vegas for now. That's a bit sad, because that, I think it was the best map to have the, this little fog uh, slash sand effect. But okay, so mostly uh, fixes, nothing too crazy. Let's jump into the game. Okay, so we do have some cosmetics. Let's go check it out. Are those just for the contracts? Okay, hold on, let's check the contracts first. So, earn 75,000 cash in smoking guns. Deal 10,000 damage to open it in smoking guns. Revive teammates 15 times. Play three rounds with a light build. Play three rounds of with a mid build. And play three rounds with a heavy build. That's good. I'm happy they made, they made contracts for every single type of uh, build to force a bit of diversity, which I feel was missing from the last few events. Let's check out what's new in the store. Okay, so there's a few new things here. Some tattoos, which look cool, not gonna lie. What about this? Another skin for the gun, which reminds me a lot of um, the zombie mode from Call of Duty. Okay, cool. And some cosmetic, some clothing. Nice little neon cap there. And that's okay. Well, they're, they're pretty cool. I'm not too surprised. I feel like that's quite in line with, with what they've been releasing lately. I would have been happy for an F-Car skin for once, but it's okay. So, let's go test out the smoking guns. So, can we change guns? Yeah, we, we have a few choices, okay. All right, the mighty, okay. the retros, the tough shells, Funny intro, and finally, why not? the Vogues. Let's get this started. Warm evening colors okay, in the sky can only mean it's magic hour with good dim light visibility in the environment. Arena. For once, our arena hasn't been shaken or stirred. It's a straight up playing field for this round. The Vogues are striking a pose at Vault 2. Vault 1 is being opened by the mighty. So wait, what's happening? Gonna cash it out. And a setback for the tough shells. They tried to clam up the competition, but ended up getting shocked. I'm a bit confused as to what's gonna happen once I put that in. Okay, it seems like a normal cash out so far. The mighty have a cash out in the works. I guess it's yeah, I guess it's a normal normal type game. The tough shells have recovered and respawned. Special delivery! Sending a frag! Team. We've got four teams, three people per team. Feels pretty normal, apart from the the sunlight, which I'm not too disappointed about. I think it's pretty cool. Like I really like this atmosphere. But apart from that, I'm not really seeing much of a difference, if I'm being honest. That shot feels quite long. The respawn time is the same. Nice shot. Go try to help them. I'm not the best light build. They'll have to forgive me. Oh, 
Should I reach the cash there? Making it look easy. Cash out for the top shells. Okay, so what did we cash out? Just money? A new vault. Our contestants better not leave that unattended. Can we change loadouts? Seems like we can. Let's try a sniper. We've got the mighty returning to the arena. So is it two, two cash outs and you win? Oh, I guess not. That answers my question. Oh, just barely. The mighty art vault just spawned. June, let's see who gets to it first. It's time for our contestants to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That's right, we have a new event on the way. from two bullets of a sniper kicking out. But at least we got this one, right? I am so terrible with light builds. I guess heavy runs the game as usual. Okay, so I guess that's about it for this new patch. Um, interesting. I think those of you who are into light builds and, and unranked modes are going to be enjoying this one quite much. So I hope you had a nice time and I will see you on the next one.